as well as one of the diagnostic chains leading diagnostic chain in india with uh, almost 400 lab across india uh, and that's a opportunity as well as a challenge as well so when this pandemic started uh, our business was down nearly by 80 percent also and we were uh, into losses in the first month that is of april and we began thinking so there was a core group formed which was um, in which we thought what to do uh, now uh, so we had on, only two labs which are having the rtpcr machines which is the covid testing machines so we thought why not uh, build on this we got icmr approvals um, then uh, one by one the demand started increasing uh, so the so the type of tracking of business that we used to do before the pandemic and after the pandemic has changed substantially so one was uh, so it is covid was a non covid so every business meeting i will ask so first question is what is your covid business what is the non covid business uh, then the walk in has had dried down nearly by 80 90% so people don't want to walk into your labs or or collection centers so uh, home collection is the new uh, new uh, mantra now so we are considering more on home collection because that will serve the uh, clients because people go to their home uh, in a pp they will collect uh, safely the samples so so that's that's a new thing uh, which has come up during the pandemic so with this background we thought uh, we thought of how do we um, how do we recalibrate our business uh, in the pandemic of course uh, this will be a normal uh, what we think is after six or seven months this will be a normal course of, uh, of everyone's life just like an h1n1 or sw the swine flu which which had come sometime some years back and now it's normal course of life so uh, so we had some short term uh, measures and some long term measures uh, so one big advantage that we had was a uh, software called Klims, which is a lab information system which we had built and uh, SLL was first to build uh, way back uh, some 8-10 years back. Uh, what we did is we integrated that with entire logistics systems uh, with um, uh, so in, during this pandemic and uh, so end to end right from the customer uh, asking for a test the collection, the collection of samples taking it to the lab processing of those samples and reporting uh, everything was integrated into this system and, uh, and and give a visibility to the customers what exactly happened with their samples, uh, how we have processed, what are the results are, uh, give them a something called a, called a uh, smart health report, which health report which we have started um, again uh, a few months back. Uh, this basically analyzes the uh, or gives a uh, simple, simplified version of the uh, complicated report, diagnostic report you can say. Uh, so that this, this, is a, this is on the uh, software part of it, what we did. Again, on the logistics part of it. So, so what we did is uh, our logistics riders earlier used to uh, go and collect a sample from collection centers. Now the, the flavors had to go to the, uh, uh, to the clients and collect the samples. So it is a different thing altogether. And we were initially, we were thinking how to do it. The flavors were, uh, were reluctant to go. Okay, they were they were asking that will will I get infected? And some of them did got in, get infected. However, we had a complete SOP on what they should do, what they should not do. Uh, we used to inform the customers as well when the flavor comes in, they should be wearing a, a fresh PPE suit, uh, fresh and anti mask. Uh, so what what all uh, what all things he will do, what all things he will touch, what all he will not do. So that was a uh, line by line SOP that we uh, worked on during this pandemic again. Uh, so, so that's the recalibration we had done uh, after the start of, uh, start of this pandemic. Now, uh, on the employee part of it, uh, what what we did was uh, training, training, and more training. So, uh, so many. Uh, so, April was the month when we were working from home. Of course, one month we worked from home, uh, and we realized that we can do a lot of online trainings that we can do. And we wish to continue this uh, in future as well. Uh, so this has helped in uh, two aspects. One is the training of the technicians and the doctors uh, to deliver more quality, uh, to, uh, to improve the efficiency. And second was the front end staff who are, who are calling the customers, who are facing the customers. Uh, so so it was a good experience for us as well that uh, we, are, we are able to give a better experience to the customers. Uh, so 
we wish to carry this forward uh, and build a separate vertical on this which will which will be called a customer uh, service uh, vertical which will deal an end to end customer service uh, so that work has already start, started uh, so we have a separate vertical who will be headed by a customer service uh, head and uh, give a different kind of experience so the covid taught uh, taught us a lot of things um, of course of course initial uh, days we had um, in march we had come up with a business plan for the full year without considering covid and um, after the covid i started questioning each and every capex so why should we do this why not, why, why should we uh, at all set up a new lab when there's no no one walking into the lab there's no samples then how we can reduce the number of uh, labs which are processing the samples so uh, that samples had dried out uh, so uh, 30 40% of the samples we were receiving in, even in the month of may so what we did is uh, close down few of the few of the labs process centrally or reduce the number of batches uh, or uh, or uh, um, process it on the alternate day. So so these are some of the measures which we did, and some will continue to be there. Okay. So so uh, the non-COVID samples, uh, though they have increased, but these measures helped us in framing the policy for future. Uh, in in questioning that uh, should we really uh, have so many uh, so many facilities, or we should centralize some of the things. Uh, so so. Uh, so that was one of the aspects. Uh, again, we worked on the uh, something called digital path. Uh, so digital pathology is something that uh, that will uh, convert a, a slide or or a, a sample into a digital form, and a doctor or a tech a expert can um, analyze that sample sitting anywhere in the world.